Hello, hello, hello. This is Miss Daylight Clay, and welcome back. And I want to thank all my viewers for uh, viewing my videos. Thank you so, so much. And thank all you guys for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I love you so much. So today what I'm doing, today I have a barbecue rib mukbang. Hey, hey, hey. And what I have today, I have some corn on the cob. I have some delicious garlic bread. And I also have some corn. I have some uh, baked beans. So the baked, everything can fit. So, but I do have, be very careful here. I do have some baked beans. And I also have some broccoli and cheese. And I have all the other fixings that I need to make this a fabulous meal. And I also have some uh, celery, carrots with a special dip. So I hope you guys sit down and join me. I hope you really enjoy this video. And I'm eating um, bandanas barbecue. I mean, yesterday the Chinese food that I had, I think it was an epic fail. But today I'm going to try this barbecue and I'll let you know what I think about it. So, in the meantime, I do have a guest here with me today who's going to enjoy this fabulous meal with me. So I will have him come sit down and we're going to enjoy this meal together. And I will let him introduce himself. Hello, 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 hello. Hey y'all, everybody. I'm here for the food and the food only. Y'all know why I'm here. My name is, mama, is this my camera on? I mean, is my glasses fixed, y'all? Where the camera at? Over here. You used to this. I'm new to this. You there. You there. You might want to scoot your chair over just a little bit towards me. Hey, y'all. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the number one finger licker in the building. Don't catch me. Talk to me until you catch me licking my fingers. You ready to eat? Grace? Grace. Mom. This is mom, by the way. Mom, son, mom, son. Grace. You know, Grace. Grace. Thank you for this food we're about to receive, our nourishment, our blessings, and our favors for you and to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Please. Amen. And so, like I say, we have all this delicious food, and I'm going to be the first to tell you if it's delicious or not. I'm not going to sugarcoat it or try to change anything. So, uh, here we go. So, I don't know what you're going to start with. Finger licking chicken wing champion. Okay, I'm going to start with the corn. I'm going to start with the corn because I love corn. So, this is the corn that we have. And I'm going to start with that. Me, preferably, I like to start with the bread first. Hello. Mm. <laughs> he like, he like. <laughs> <laughs> I always start with the bread. And of course, I do have my uh, flavored water here today, as always. And if you go back and look at one of my videos, you'll see that I do make my own flavored water with fresh fruits and vegetables that I have in my house. So, what's in your kitchen? I mean, I know you can create a meal with what's in your kitchen. Okay? So I'm going to go with, I went with the corn, the corn was delicious. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to try these baked beans. I love baked beans with barbecue. Did I say that right? I said barbecue. So what does that say I'm from? Some people say barbecue. I said, what I say? Bah. Barbecue. <laughs> We're having barbecue. If you ain't never had a barbecue, don't bother me. This is really good. The bread? The bread? Oh, you like that. Okay. It's not bad. That's good. That's our first time trying it. Well, I haven't tried it yet. But I know we have similar tastes. We have very similar tastes, so. Nice. Tender. 
Does it have a really smoky flavor? It's flavorful. Oh, okay. Is it tender? Oh, yeah. I can see how you just being so succulent. How that meat is just falling off the bone, guys. I ain't going to say all that. Why? It's not fall off the bone? It's, oh. holding, it's holding on, y'all. Holding on the bone, but it's good. If you would have made it, it fell off. If I shook it, it fell off. That just shows the sun like his mother's cooking. I'm going to I did the corn. I did the baked beans. And even though I'm a meat eater and I love meat, I mean, this is something that I really wanted. Uh, but I'm going to go with the celery. And I'm going to dip the celery in this special sauce that I made. And I'm going to have that. Oh, I got a public service announcement. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. If y'all don't eat the knuckles on y'all chicken wings and chicken legs, this ain't the channel for y'all. We eat knuckles. If y'all know what knuckle is, it's that piece under the meat, next to the bone, the crunchy part there. <laughs> right the knuckle. But we're eating spare ribs. We're not eating chicken. Because I was looking for a knuckle. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why that's why I mentioned that I did. Oh, but, I did but, like that. Oh, oh yeah. Like right. I was but doing. remember, I wanted some uh, rib tips. You wanted rib tips. And they didn't and have it. had good gristle. But the, the rib tips do have that so-called knuckle, knuckle. which you're saying, yeah, that gristle part. That's chewable with all the fat and the goodness and the juiciness around it. Rib tips is really meaty and yet it has more fat than the rib tips. So when he was on the chicken, I was like, wait, we're not eating chicken. We're eating ribs. That's just the first thing I thought when I came about thought about knuckles. Okay, okay. But if y'all don't eat nothing, find y'all y'all closest knuckle diet on the web. I will give you the information. So give, give me information. Not, not right now. Let's get, the, let's enjoy the food. Well, yeah, yeah, knuckle information, but right now, we're talking about bandanas, barbecue. In our area. In our local joker area. We support them so far because we still eat. But I tell you what. They didn't make this corn. <laughs> mm. That's what they didn't make. Give them the recipe for this. Give them the recipe for it. You have to subscribe. Push the like. Push the subscribe. There's more details in the bio and the box below. And we can give you this mean gene daylight. I'm telling you, corn like this, you don't know if the chicken crossed the road or the corn came first. It had to come first. Do corn make chicken? <laughs> Did I mean to say it? No, no, but uh, chicken eat corn. How about that? That's what I meant. <laughs> corn eat this chicken. <laughs> The corn, eat the chicken. Amazing, amazing. If the chicken eat this corn. <laughs> this guy, you got it. Woo. I tell you, the corn gets you delirious. <laughs> Juices. Here, check the one. This, 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 this is just one of many recipes that you might want. Check this good corn now. A lot of y'all probably cook y'all corn too long and cook it too short. And... What did they do? And we didn't mention that. We have fried okra too. We have fried oh, and we didn't mention the fries. So we have fried okra, we have french fries, we have corn, the garlic bread, we have the baked beans, and over here we have uh, broccoli and Cheese. 
That's the good stuff. So we're just really like enjoying this meal and we hope that you enjoy too. And hopefully you can give us some ideas and we can give you some ideas and we can move forward. So this is really delicious. As you notice, I really haven't tasted the ribs yet because I love the side dishes. The side dishes are awesome. So, but I am going to eat the ribs. Trust and believe. Yes, yes, yes. Trust and believe. Hey, now. Mmm. There go the ribs. Mm. And you said they were okay. Sure. What what are you spitting out? Oh, oh my, 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 my. The food is good. And so what he was doing was let me know if anybody else does this. On occasion, I have done it. I try not to do it, but uh, my mom used to do it too as well. When they we eat the corn and we eat all the corn off the cob, we suck the juice out of the cob. cob. So that's what he was spitting out. And I'm looking at him like, what are you spitting out? You know, but he had ate all the corn off the corn cob. cob and he sucked the juice off the corn cob and once he sucked the juice out he spit it out and that's the same thing like they do with the sugar cane I remember when we had the sugar cane yeah you suck all the juice right. yeah you we didn't know how to work it you had to, <laughs> had to yeah we needed instructions for the sugar cane yeah uh, you just suck all the juice out of the kids <clears throat> if you ever try sugar cane Get the instructions because it's pretty good if you know how to do it. We used to love to eat sugar cane. I've tried it a few times and just give me the regular candy cane and the pickle. All the juices going together, infused juices. Sugar canes are good if you're from Hawaii. Delicious french fries. What you think about the real? I haven't had it yet. Just, uh, I was into the corn when I saw you uh, do the corn cob thing that you know Subscribe, we do. Subscribe, like that corn. I'm telling you, the corn. So I'm going to here go the rib. Here we go, and it has a dry rub on it. And mostly in this area, most of our meat have dry rubs. Most people like it in barbecue sauce. But mostly in this area, people like to add their own barbecue sauce. So it has a dry rub. But we do have the barbecue sauce, you know, that we can add to it if we like. But I'm going to taste it first without the barbecue sauce. I can tell already it's not that bad, huh? No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I like the dry rub on it, but I also like barbecue flavor. This is this the trick. Good. This is the sauce, y'all. This is the sauce I'm using is just so happen to be St. Louis sweet. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. okay, just now. something that we're familiar with. Okay, now here we go. No, more. On the top. There you go. You know how we do it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, this is how we do it. And uh, this is secondary to like St. Louis style. You're going to like that. Ooh. Yeah. Remind me of home. Mmm. Mm. I can taste home, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. This is, oh yes, see, and like I said, a lot of people just don't like the sauce on their meat. But how we grew up grilling, we <laughs> always added the sauce, right? Well, we had, we, well, yes, you would add the sauce. <laughs> I would add the sauce. You would add the sauce. I would add the sauce. Because and my mom would add the sauce. Dad was just good at making great sauce. All right, now. Just good at Listen up, y'all. Hello. <laughs> good at making great sauce. But mm -hmm. if you if you was like me and somebody who ate out the plate and off the grill, 
Before it was done, you didn't even need no sauce. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Listen up. But don't. Subscribe, like, and you can get them saucy ingredients and recipes. I'm telling you. News you can use. Mmm. It tastes so much like home with that sauce. You know what I thought it tastes like? I don't even need to say it. Man. Hold on. I can't say it on. Yes. Down it. Mm -hmm. Down it. Uh huh. Yeah. With that little the lemons and the oranges and the brown sugars y'all used to. Oh. Stop yeah. it now. Stop like, it. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all want to know. It really does. Don't it? Mm. I like it. I like it too. I like it better with the sauce. And it's the St. Louis sweet and it's spicy Louis sauce. St. Louis sweet and spicy St. Louis sweet and smoky from Bandana Jow. This is here in uh, Midwest, USA. If any one of y'all want to come down here and try to give a challenge? <laughs> I'm trying. About, about the best barbecue. Because um, in the Midwest, they have a couple of uh, municipalities that have the best barbecue. And most of them are in Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. Those are the states that have the best barbecue. And also, those are the states that raise the most cows, herds, or whatever. Best farmers. Best farmers. So, yeah. And then those best farmers get together and they produce the best meat and they get together and they make the best sauce. But Farmer. by living here in this area in the Midwest, we have all learned how to make a good sauce. And like uh, my son was saying that, you know, he likes to eat just like I do. So when I'm grilling, you know, a lot of times he eat without the sauce, and then but when I put the sauce on, he liked that just as much. So right around. You prefer the sauce? I pref I prefer the sauce, but a lot of people don't. I prefer your sauce. I like it without the sauce. I prefer your sauce. Well, all right, son. All right. I'm a little skeptical. Mm-hmm. I know what pepper tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So that was this. This was good. I must say that bandanas. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. The the rub is good. Mm -hmm. You know, and they uh, gave us the the St. Louis style sweet and smoky sauce, which really uh, gave an infusion to this meat. My bone is done, y'all. It's done. But did you get the knuckle? Not, not, now. I'll get the knuckle when you do the lobster. How about that? I mean, the crab legs. I'll get the knuckle then. And then, uh, I do like the feather chips. I don't know if you're talking about the feather chips or the chicken. Hello. That's not the, not the knuckle, but we're just having a conversation and we're eating, guys. That's and, like the basics. Let me tell y'all something about feather tips, too. Because I realized some of y'all feather tips, not everybody, some... Some of y'all was raised by y'all grandma. Can I say this? If you don't stick your feather tip in the grease, and you got a small piece of feather tip that's a little raw, then it ain't crunchy. You can't chew it. Dunk your feather tips in the grease. Side note. Nothing to do with this. Put your feather tips in the grease. Because that way, guys who eat knuckles, feather tips, rib tips, turkey neck, and the apple a day. <laughs> Put it in the grease. But you can't say that. I mean, you can say it because you already did. But uh, you have to remember that. And no, no nothing. A lot of people can't have that. You know, like, tip. they can't have the grease. That's why now they're coming up with the new wave infrared oven. They're coming up with the air fryer. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. She's just getting all of her secrets away. And you know what? That's because y'all tuned in and just so happened to hear 
to know what you can use. But what you really need to understand is that this food, this is a, what's this, Friday night? This is a Friday night munching. Wait till you catch her when she got them pots and pans and ovens in. Then we're going to give you some, we're going to want your reviews to like it, love it, and subscribe it. That garlic bread is good. You want to tell me the truth about the garlic bread? Go ahead, tell me the truth about the garlic bread, baby. Well, I ain't going to say it if it's going to mess up our sponsoring. <laughs> we, might, we might go viral with, uh, whoop, you missed it. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't tell you all the secrets, though, for real, y'all. Y'all all gonna go, because we community people, we love with people. We do things that honest and good people need to do. Log on. We got good, we got good, pay attention. That's all I can tell you. If you ain't paying your bill, pay attention. But anyway, bandanas, barbecue. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is what we're uh, <coughs> tonight on Friday. Tonight, bandanas. My mama been doing a lot of local searches with, you know, catering food and serving. You know, she just, you know, she be, she be doing stuff. Not bad. I ain't using <clears throat> I ain't using no sauce though. Uh oh. Uh oh. That must be really good. It's time to get saucy. No, 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 no. Whatever you feel like. If you like the rub like that, then that's what you should speak on. You know, because this is a food channel. So you say what you like and you say what you dislike. Like I say, I like it better with the sauce. A lot of times people do do the dry rub. The dry rub is good. I mean, like I said, I, the first piece that I ate was the dry rub. And it was good. But when I added that sweet, smoky, St. Louis barbecue sauce to that dry rub, it just took it to another level. So, you know, it just depends on what you like. So... He likes the dry rub from the rib joint. <laughs> I call it rib joint. And I just it. noticed that. Mm hmm That mom's used a little bit. She had it both. Yeah. A little dry and a little saucy. Mm-hmm. I ain't had no sauce yet. Ho, 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 ho. What you so, say? Say it again. So the people who don't like sauce, it might be your bag if you like smoky. Kind of tastes like... I feel like it may have some. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come, let's, let's do a thumbnail. Come on, baby. It's toast. No, put it in your mouth. Toast, mama. That's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, the, oh, it's it's that piece was kind of spicy with seasonings. Not not spicy, but that's what I don't taste. Take a bite, of mine. Huh. So you won't mess my my flavor rhythm up. Cause mine is crazy. Take a bite. Does that taste different than yours? With the seasoning? Except I got that the whole. a lot better. Yeah, like said, all the seasoning was in one place. That probably where they cut it. So this tastes it better. It almost tastes like teriyaki. You mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did it's they the, use teriyaki? They're not going to tell you the secret what they used to do the rub. But when you said, I'm like, you said yours was good. I'm like, let me taste a little more. Mm. I see this side don't taste as spicy as that side, right? It didn't, did it? Or did it? This is the dry rub. Now, like I said, it don't taste bad. And you have the dry rub. I don't like teriyaki. 
Oh, we just can't win with you, huh? I like barbecue, really. <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> we just can't win. That's what that is. Huh? But you but you did enjoy that bite though, right? Did you can you taste the teriyaki in it or something? Yeah, I well I I tasted the teriyaki and I thought that it was more heavenly seasoned. You know, I mean, than the first piece that I took. So, like, sometimes when people season their meat, they might just sprinkle just a little bit more on a certain part. Like, they get heavy-handed. Remember how you say about you being heavy-handed? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, they get a little bit more heavy-handed when they put more season on one side. So, that's what I tasted. And I think that possibly that's what you might have tasted, too. Uh, I know. You can't do it on a bone. Huh? You can do it on a knuckle. That's not a knuckle. There's nothing there. Knuckle, yeah. Oh my, that's what you call a knuckle? Knuckle up, baby. It's a knuckle. I want you to try it, please, on with the um the meat. Try the hickory smoked no the, the sweet and hickory smoked sauce from St. Louis sauce style. Try that. Cause I like it better, but I know that your you might taste pretty much of the same, well, except for right now. I think you, <laughs> you cultivated my taste. Okay. Have y'all ever ate the skin off y'all rib bone? Did y'all know? Most people, people take the skin off. But bandana. But they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> they didn't. They did not. This ain't, you ain't get no skin off the back of your barbecue. But you get what? You get some paper thin skin. Our bandana. Mm, now. Mm, mm. now that was good. The dry rub was good. Okay? So now he's gonna try it with the sauce. Right? Thank you. Alright. Can I tell you something? Please do. Haven't had Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. Cause I don't know a lot about a bar a lot about barbecue. I know good from not so good. This here is in the middle. I don't like teriyaki. Oh, but you said that the only piece that was teriyaki was the piece that I had. Once you told me that to I know, no, no, it wasn't written in stone. Once you told me to taste it. Okay. And then I started tasting it. Then I started to realize it's not barbecue. That's when the sauce comes in. So the okay. barbecue sauce and barbecue season should be two different lanes. Okay. This here is teriyaki rib. And Maybe bandana, it's the rub. The rub. The teriyaki rub. rub. And I'm going to tell you something, Bandana. If you're using teriyaki rub and you think that's working for you, you need to like our channel, subscribe, because you got some rub for you. Teriyaki. Okay. Okay, so now do it with the do it with the barbecue sauce, please. You know I prefer it without the sauce. I didn't even taste catch the flavor but, until you said what it tastes like. No, that no, but seriously, I think that I think that they put more rub on one side of the meat than they did the other. That's what I think. But I don't know why you're saying that now because... Uh, not because I didn't taste the teriyaki. So anyway, look, y'all. If y'all can't see it real quick... No, what I'm rub. saying is that you always like when I add barbecue sauce to the meat. I have never been... I have never, ever, ever... Your sauce. You're right. I have never, ever prepared barbecue and didn't have a sauce on it. No, your sauce. I tell you, we have to eat it off the grill. To catch no sauce. But I prefer it with the nice smoky. Yeah, yeah, and smoke you know, flavor. You know, no sauce. Flavor. Right, exactly. You know, like, good like, like you did those wings that day, right? Smoky, smoky, smoky. Hey, smoky. This, that. I've tasted this somewhere else before. So how it's does not, it taste? 
It tastes like I got tasted somewhere. Do you like it or not? It ain't gonna kill us to enjoy it. But if it was enjoying it, that's all we have to say. It's good, y'all. Okay, so for the last time. All right, go ahead, son. Look, y'all. Okay. Everybody got different barbecue uh, barbecue palettes. Bye. Everybody got different barbecue palettes. <laughs> <laughs> some are like a tangy, sweet, spicy. Some are like a it's really small. Hickory, you know. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I like it Midwest style. Okay. Let's hear this now. This. You see, you have to eat plenty of it to make a good observation. It's like my fourth rib. It ain't off the bone. Look, look at my struggle. It ain't off the bone. It come with every sauce <laughs> to your liking. So you might want to consider just buying sauce. The meals are pretty uh family size. You think they're family size? Or did we not like the okra? I'm eating okra right now. Okra's are pretty good. Portion size. Hold on, y'all. Knuckle, knuckle, knuckle break, knuckle break. Portion size, they'll work with you in your fifth grader. The bread my mama was impressed by. You was impressed by bread, wasn't you? Yes. But she still had to spice it up. Let me show y'all something. In case y'all thought. Not just in case y'all thought, because I haven't even seen it yet, but just let me give you. Look at that. Oh, I look like something you got hiding under your pillow, don't you? You want to sleep with it, don't you? Now that, subscribe, like, thumb it up. And we can tell you what she added to that. We don't even know what the bread tastes like. That bread. <laughs> right, 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 right. Real. Right, right. You was like, mama, they don't look like your bread. Yeah, they don't even know what they bread. So we can't give you a review on their bread, but I can tell you something about this one. Subscribe, like, thumb it up. Meanwhile, the ribs is good. The sauce get every flavor. And I like all of it. Yay! Yay! That's what I was waiting for. Yay! Do you like it? I like it. Yes. I mean, he went through the back door and out the, out the uh, garage basement. He came back in through the back door. Then came around the front. And then said, hey, I like it. <laughs> and I was just trying to see if you like it better with the sauce or without the sauce. And technically, he never said it. He said he was raised that way, so he liked it with the sauce. But if he had his choice, he would have it without the sauce. That's how I gather the information. That's it. That's all. Hey, good stop. If I would say stop or shop, I would say stop. I mean, shop. They're not bad, y'all. If you like saucy they got different sauces but what you need to do to figure out where you can get saucy at and maybe yeah, it ain't bad if i'm leaving more room y'all <laughs> we cool take my lick arm recommendation to bandanas 
<laughs> Catch you in the Midwest. If you want your best delights, you better talk to daylight. That be man. That's good, mom. I'm glad you liked it. So. Now we got to eat my vegetables for mom, um, you know. You got to eat your veggies. Kids. You like baked beans. And we didn't even try that, but it's cold right now. But, you know, the hot, the hot foods have been kept hot, and I guess the cold food has been kept cold. And I am so happy that, you know, we had a chance to do this video. It has been very, 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 very exciting for me. So I just hope that you really um, subscribe to the channel. Press the notification key for when you want another upload of the next video. Because at this point in time, I'm going to be continuous in the upload of the videos. Because this is something that I like to do. It's something that I want to do. And I have other family members in as well. Okay? So, in the meantime, and in between time, I'm getting ready to end. I'm getting ready to sign out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy hanging out with you guys. If you ever want to catch me, catch me at Finger Licking Day like. Everything that she like, don't be everything that she like. Try recipes, like, love, and subscribe. Notifications. See you soon. <laughs> Look at my beard, bro. I got the new. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. I got it. <laughs> about, I got this. Is about six months in now. Hold on, you gotta stop the camera so I can stand no, up. No, 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 no. The camera's keep going. You still? Are we still on? Yeah, you still on. We haven't shut it out yet. Subscribe and like it. Try this bread. I can't do it with my billy on camera. <laughs> that was a fast exit, but he'll be back. So, however, like I said again, thank you for viewing the channel. Thank you for sitting down and enjoying the food with us. And in the meantime, and in between time, I see you soon. See you later. Hello, hello, hello. Bye.